was like shocking because I didn't, I was just, I mean, it was, I was down. So I was like, it was a great moment because I haven't really gotten first in any other tournament before. So being able to experience it for the first time was really, really amazing. Avery had to dig deep to topple Trinidad and Josie Thong in the girls under 13 final, which went the full five sets. Tied two all to end down to the fifth, and with her father just beyond the backboard offering support, Avery showed her cool and collective demeanor to secure goal for Guyana. Well, I just knew that a lot of people were counting on me, like probably a bunch of my Guyana teammates and my parents and my family. And Guyana, the country, they obviously wanted somebody from Guyana to win. So I tried to do it for them and for myself, obviously, too, because I wanted to make a name for myself and win my first casa. It is not surprising she won her first casa on her first try, as her father won his first casa title back in 1984 at the Caribbean Championships in Jamaica. Knowing the template to success with numerous Caribbean titles, Roger engineered his daughter's success. And she was down in the fifth, um, if you go back and watch the tape. I think, I think she was down 9-7 in the fifth. Um, so odds are not great, you know, um, especially at, at, at that level with the serve and return game that they play. But um, a girl's on 13. Uh, a range of emotions, as you would imagine, as a supporter, as a dad, as a, as a player. Um, <laughs> I think the best, um, you know, word to describe my feeling was just relief. It was just relief, you know, when she won match ball, um, more than anything, as opposed to being said, oh, you're excited, you're, you know, it's that relief. I'll take relief because <laughs> the heart is came down a little bit more to normal. So, but it was, you know, ter it was very exciting um, watching it, of course. So while I enjoyed representing Guyana and I have very fond and positive memories of that time and period and the, the titles we all won as a country and individuals, um, you know, it's, it's time for me to hand the reins over. So it was, a, a, in some ways, a bittersweet um, moment for me coming back, but handing it off hopefully to, in good hands with my daughter for the next generation. Roger won his last junior casa title in 1989, 21 years before Avery was born, but she still revels in the prominence of her father, a legacy she is now poised to carry on. Well, I understand that he was really big in the squash community and he worked really hard and he won a lot of tournaments and even now a lot of people in Guyana here still know him as one of the best squash players to ever come in Guyana so I think it's I really appreciate that I can now make a new name for the Archer family. Well I hope to be as good as he is maybe even better but I'll just see how far I get in my swatch career. Her composure on court is very much all her. That's how she approaches the game. She has, I think, the right um, mixture of, of um, controlled uh, apprehension or controlled fear. She approaches it um, appropriately. Uh, you need to have that right balance of being appropriately nervous but not too nervous because nervousness or or concern generates a better play in a way but you need to you need to stay within yourself in terms of complacency and calm and i think she does exhibit that quite well for a 12 year old the added bonus to success it is a prolonged father and daughter time another way to bond well sometimes it's difficult because obviously if i want something he might be a little bit harder on me because i'm his daughter and not just like a random kid so their relationship is a little hard sometimes, but I think it's still good to have like a father and coach at the same time because then you can experience um, how he coaches you from both worlds. But there's always that fine line between parenting and coaching. So I'm very aware of that. And in some ways, while I've, only, I've been her only coach her career so far, it, I've been flirting with when is the right time to hand her over to someone else who probably could um, optimize her potential a lot better than I can. At, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm her father first and her coach second or even maybe third or fourth. Moving up to the under 15 next year, Avery already knows that will be an even tougher job, but she has a self-belief, a characteristic of a champion. In, in particular because squash is an individual game, 
Um, it's all you on the court. You, there's nowhere to hide in these four walls. There's no teammates to lean on. You, you, can't, you, you can't bail yourself out. There's, there's nothing to build. It's you, a racket and a ball, and a guy trying to beat you, or a girl trying to beat you. So it's, it's up to you to kind of figure out if you really want this and want it badly enough. How are you going to get there? And that's through training, um, you know, perseverance, grit, and all the elements that come together to make you know um, an eventual uh, very good squash player. For the newsroom, Akim Green.